Low Light TV presents all Bader Harry losses. Let's go! The first loss overtook Young Bader back in 2000 at WPKL Gala in Amsterdam, and it was a hardest spinning wheel kick knockout from the Dutchman Rocky Grandjean. Defeat number two, Edmund Kiersis, submission, forearm choke, Lord of the Rings Gala 2002. This was Bader's first and only MMA fight. Number 3. Karim Rabet, unanimous decision, Xena Sports Victory of Hell 2002. Unfortunately, video of this fight is not preserved. In the face and in the movements of the White Russian mounting. He doesn't like this, he doesn't want to be in the ring for such a long time. Number 4. Alexei Ignashov, KO, right cross. It's Showtime 2003, right, and, uh, Amsterdam. The plexus. A punch on the body of Badrahari and that is very, very painful, either on the liver or on the Texas. Um, he's out. Badrahari is out. One punch of the big Russian was enough to lay him out, but what a good fight has he done. Has he done. Badrahari. He a great time to himself. Did his best. It was not enough, but he will. Just wait in five years. Number 5, Stefan Leko, KO, spinning back mid kick. It's showtime, 2005, Amsterdam. Number 6, Peter Graham, KO, Rolling Thunder, K1 World Grand Prix 2006 in Auckland. Defeat number 7, Ruslan Karaev, KO right punch, K1 World Grand Prix 2006 in Osaka opening round. In this fight Bader Hari was robbed and later win Karaev in a rematch. <laughs> あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ
Majority decision. K1 World Grand Prix 2007. Final. Number 9. Remy Panyaski. Disqualification. Illegal kick. K1 World Grand Prix 2008 Final. Был рабочий момент, и вот здесь началось самое чудовищное. Удар сверху ногой. Реми Баньяски, что-то у него то ли с ногой, то ли с плечом, трудно сказать. Нам... 자 하지만 역시 바다리는 카운터의 명수 아니겠습니까? 자이 number 10 Alistair Overy KO left hook Dynamite 2008 number 11 Sammy Shield TKO referee stoppage K1 World Grand Prix 2008 final Loss number 12, Hesdi Gerges, disqualification, kicked down to opponent, it's showtime 2010, Amsterdam. Number 13. Zabit Samedov. KO left hook. Legend Fighting Show 1. 2013. <laughs> Number 14. Rico Verhoeven. TKO arm injury. Glory collision. 2016. Here we go. He's winning the fight. Oh, that right hand landed. This is only a three round fight, mind you. Botter didn't want five rounds. Rico's having a hard time establishing his punch. Oh, and a head kick from Rico! Wobbles hurry! That's what makes Botter very successful is those big hooks when he gets Stop. going. Stop! Stop! 
And look at Rico trying to be the boss, Alistair. The referee is giving him a count. Did he break his arm? It looks like his arm is broken. It is over. A technical knockout. All right, so we're seeing some punches, the clinch, and here comes a, here comes a knee to the liver. And here comes another knee to the shoulder. That could have been it. It was after the break sign. You can see Rigar is looking surprised as well. And basically surrendered due to an injury. Where exactly, we do not know. Number 15, Rico Verhoeven. TKO, leg injury. Glory, collision 2, 2019. His knockouts are from a right cross. That rear low kick. Oh, oh, Rico. oh the right hand! The right hand! Oh, the he goes for the Seeks Bonner. Hey. Let's see if Bonner goes for the close already. Oh, he just slipped off and ripped that right hand now. Stop. What a start for Bonner as Rico lands a low kick at the bell. This is not tickable. Rico, look at the job oh. to the right hand. And the king of kickboxing comes fighting back. Oh. He got caught again. And now Bonner opening up. <laughs> Great in round two. Let's see how the judges scored that. All five giving it to the champ. Oh, and a high kick sends Rico down. There you go, get it. Back to that right hand to the body. And now Otter's down. Uh oh. really wanted to land that spinning kick and something in that process kind of either hurt his knee Number 16, Benjamin Adegbui, TKO, referee stoppage, Glory 76, Rotterdam, 2020. Three rounds, heavyweight division, Badrhari and Benjamin Adegbui. Right. Which I think is a good strategy right. to sit in that pocket and defend Badrhari's power and then just keep chopping away and mix together good punch kick combinations. Look at Adegbui with the right hand. performance like this with Bonner Hari. I mean, that guy's just, not only is he winning, he's the broken nose, Joe. And I think it was from that self-pop hook that may have broke the nose, but like... Man. Defeat number 17, Arkadius Verjozek, KO, head kick, Glory 78, Rotterdam, 2021.
On October 2022, at Glory Collision 4, Alistair Overy made a triumphant return to kickboxing after 12 years in MMA, when he defeated rival Butter Harry in their third career meeting. After two competitive rounds, Overeem exploded to knock down Harry twice in round three, and he won by unanimous decision. After the fight, Butter stated that this was most likely his last performance. But he knows he has the power if he can land that one big heavy punch. That and he uppercut, does. That uppercut sent Potter's glove to the ground. The referee does not call it a knockdown. Well, you can see left hook and then just boom pops up right on the chin. Watch the gloves. It's coming back. Oh, big hit. Easier said than done. Oh, right hand from Alistair. Two of them. And then a knee. Butter's in trouble. Butter's out. Butter is oh. down. Butter is down. One. Hang on. Six. In the Netherlands. It's legend. Oh, that right hand. Legend versus legend, and he's down again. Oh, Adam, Adam. He's up. He's got 40 seconds to survive. 10 seconds to go. Does this put it to an extra round is what I'm thinking now with two knockdowns. Alistair steps out of the fray. And in the third round, bought her up two rounds. And you can see here over him with that uppercut, which hurt him. And they kept coming forward, finding those angles. That left hook put Potter down. By unanimous decision, Alistair Overeem. Low Light TV was with you. Please comment, like, and subscribe for more Low Lights.